All right, so Lady Gaga said, be ready at noon tomorrow. So we're here waiting for the Lady Gaga Disease The Antidote live premiere. I'm about to jump in there as soon as it comes on. Disease, the song itself has been such a damn good song. It's been on my playlist almost every single day, if not every single day. Like, it gets my energy going and it really, like, reminds me the greatness of Lady Gaga. She really is the shit. And like one of my commenters said on the Disease official music video reaction, the lady never misses on visuals. She never misses at all it seems if you're new here by the way please subscribe i have tons of reactions on the channel full albums gonna jump into some movies like maybe the megan the stallion documentary stick around check out some of my videos i try my best to bring the best vibes possible i just like to have a good time and spread positivity so let's see what this video is all about there are no more tears to cry haunting, demented a little bit, uh, how calm it is and about the substance that she's singing about. Her voice is on, always sounds so damn good, but I like the way they stripped this down. Just a piano and an acoustic guitar so far and, and Lady Gaga's vocal just taking us on. It is, come on girl, so good. Man, the pacing of this like really changed the whole chemistry of the song. It feels so much different. Like with the actual version, the radio version, it feels like more of a pop song. Obviously, with the energy, with the the production on it, this feels just like I said in the beginning, more haunting, more demented, more uh, uh, emotional. I would say. <laughs> I like when she shapes her voice like that. It's very 80s rock. Um, trying to think who the, maybe Billy Idol or something. Song is so good. Take us home. 
Oh man, I love when she hits that tone there, those runs there with that like, that whispery freaking vocal. So raspy and deranged. <laughs> The thing I appreciate the most about her is authenticity. She is 100% always herself. She, um, she always, she always talks about mental health. She always talks about being yourself. She always um, empowers the message to 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 be yourself, to be the best version of yourself you can be, and not care about the way people think of you. And you can just see it come out in her. Like this is not just acting. This is authentic how she feels while she's singing this song. Like, you can just see the emotions she's going through while she's going through this this battle of the disease and the antidote. And, I mean, I've been really happy about the return of her this year. She has a song up for a Grammy with Bruno Mars. So, I'm really excited for this, like, little rollout that she's been doing pretty much where it seems like we're getting G7. I don't know if anything's been confirmed there, but it seems like we're getting that album soonish. I don't know if we're gonna get it before the new year, by Christmas, whatever it may be. I'd be so, so damn happy if it was a Christmas miracle and we get some Gaga. But, I mean, 2024 has been an insane year of just like every single A-list star, it seems like, is dropping an album. So what's gonna happen in 2025? Cause yeah, off the top of my head that I can think of, we've had Beyonce, Billie Eilish, Tyla, Dua Lipa, Chapel Roan, Sabrina Carpenter, Katy Perry, um, SZA, Doja Cat is getting ready to drop her third album, like, Dochi, I mean, there's been so much coming out this year, it's insane, and, uh, I'm a little nervous for next year, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we do get, uh, you know, the new album from Gaga soon because I am like craving this. This song, Disease, has been so damn good. That one with Bruno Mars was, was really good. It's been really cool to see her perform again, just just having her back in, in, the, in, the, in the light. Like anytime Gaga, Beyonce, any of those names are, are, are around, it just makes life taste so much better. They're so damn good.